What's up, my people? It is another Get Ready Productions video. Welcome aboard. Thank you for checking in. We got some hot topics today. You definitely want to be on board with this one. So let's talk. There's some craziness going on out there, but I want to give you an update on a couple of other stories before I get to the main topic for today. Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, is now being sued by George Floyd's family for over $250 million for his recent comments about how George Floyd died. And if you don't know, now you'll know, because I'm about to tell you, that he said, and he bases this on a coroner's report, and we know sometimes that can be biased, and can be used to support an agenda or a narrative. But he said that George Floyd died from a fentanyl overdose and not from a police officer placing his knee on his neck and holding it there for over eight minutes. Well, he's gonna have to defend himself in court now and it could cost him millions. We'll keep you updated as that story continues to evolve. Boy, we got some craziness going on out there right now, guys. And you might want to stay tuned because knowledge is power. And if you don't have information, you can make decisions that can come back to haunt you. And that's what we're finding out about the pandemic. A lot of people were on board immediately without doing any research. There was a certain level of what we call a fear factor, I understand. People got worried, they got concerned, they believed their government. And I really don't fault them in most cases for reacting the way they did. So they took the medicine, which wasn't really tested because we know for most part, the history of vaccines usually is a five to 10 year process. But this time, we had emergency authorization, which we were able to give to the parties that make those decisions in the government, the CDC and a host of other organizations that uh, got involved in this process. And a lot of people believed them. We didn't have a lot of information to go on. It was a scary position for many people to be in, especially senior citizens, better known as the elderly. And so people took the medicine. And the reason why I'm using the word medicine is because, again, there's a lot of censorship going on in social media. You gotta be careful what you say in a country that believes in the First Amendment, freedom of press. And so a lot of people went along with the, uh, recommendations but in some cases the mandates because people lost their jobs behind this uh, we went into a lockdown children were forced to wear masks which we later found out really didn't do anything to protect anybody from the virus and so now we're finding out more and more information in a previous video I put up a link for the newly released movie based on the book from Robert F. Kennedy Jr., The Real Anthony Fauci. Now the movie has been made. It is a masterpiece. I have seen part one. This weekend I'm gonna look at part two. Now part one is free of charge. I think there's four or five days left on that opportunity. And then if you want part two, you'd have to pay for it, which I'm willing to do because the work was absolutely fantastic. And I like to see producers, editors, writers, whoever else is involved in the process to get paid. But what we're now finding out is, is there was a lot of behind the scenes manipulation and hiding and absolute out and outright lies about this pandemic, but that's not the real news, guys. Have you heard what is going on at Austin University? Did you hear what I said? A college, a university. Boston University 
has now tested and it's kind of shady and the information is still being relay released they have been now charged with getting involved in gainful research where they actually can take a virus manipulate it sometimes in the effort to find something that can defeat the virus before it goes global now we're finding out that they tested a manipulated virus which originated from coronavirus and the variant Omicron. They have tested on human hybrid mice. Did you just hear what I said? Human hybrid mice. That means that these mice have human genes. So if you see a certain reaction occur in the mice, you would assume that same result would occur in a human. They have now tested through the whole research process and manipulating genes and viruses that they now have the ability to release a new pandemic, Pandemic 2.0, with, listen up, an 80% kill rate. Did you just hear what I said? A university is going into a research of a virus which just caused a pandemic and manipulated the genes in this virus so that it would kill eight out of 10 people if exposed to this virus. And now they're trying to cover their tracks. It gets deeper. Just when you thought that this couldn't get any crazier, just when you thought this is a movie that no one would believe, they are actually at the point of being given money to do the research. And where did the money come from? The NIH, all this information is on a fantastic YouTube channel called Redacted. And they are growing leaps and bounds, so they're probably a target right now. So you might want to check this out as soon as you can because censorship is rampant. The funding for this research comes from the National Institute of Health, NIH. And guess who is involved in doling out that money? Anthony Fauci. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the golden boy. The man that everybody believed even when he told lies that he would now have to admit to. One day he said you don't need a mask, the next day you do need a mask. Day after that you need two masks because that's better than one. Most people know that was something that was at best confusing, at worst, uh, manipulation of the population. So he's been able to dole out large sums of cash to colleges and universities because there's a college in North Carolina that people believe may have had their hands involved in the original coronavirus, which came from Wuhan, China, which seems to have some connection to the United States government. You can't make it up. And people will challenge people like me and people like YouTube channels that are bringing this information to them. And they'll double down on people that we have caught in lie after lie and that the results have been catastrophic for people all over the world. We got people that are involved in sports dropping dead on the field, and it's because they took that medicine. You gotta be careful what you say. But there's another person involved in all of this activity, kind of behind the scenes, but it's now being revealed out in the open. His name is Bill Gates, and so there are claims now, and there are articles being written, and the YouTube channel Redacted has touched on it, and a lot of other YouTube channels and individuals involved in this type of information are now kind of backing them up. Bill Gates is involved in a lot of stuff that is questionable, trying to be diplomatic. Some people would say underhanded. Some people say he has an ulterior motive. But this is getting crazier by the minute. So some of his money was involved in this research. Why would Bill Gates, a college dropout, 
a person who has no qualifications when it comes to health, medicine, or any kind of pandemic related problems on the planet and he wants to give everybody this medicine that's very interesting and he's rushing to give this medicine to everybody all over the planet and he loves to go into Africa and get those people to believe that they need this medicine to survive when many of these cultures and many of these people in these countries have kind of homemade remedies to deal with ailments. And I'm not gonna say those homemade remedies are perfect, but sometimes they can pretty much solve the problem themselves which with natural, natural earth-grown plants that can protect you or help uh, cure you of many ailments. A lot of people like, they wanna go with medicine. Man, you put on that white uh, jacket and you put some letters behind your name and people just fold. They just believe you. But once again, Bill Gates is involved in some things that question, does he have an agenda, an ulterior motive? And then when you start to look at Bill Gates' family and his father being involved in Planned Parenthood, you start to ask yourself, what time is it? What's going on? And I'm telling you, it's kind of scary. And I envy people that don't know, and I envy people that don't want to know because they just go about their daily lives. They don't have to, you know, ingest all this negativity into their daily existence. I, I kind of, you know, feel like, wow, I shouldn't even look at videos anymore. I kind of can't help it, and I like disseminating information so it's what I do. But uh, Bill Gates is also involved in buying up a lot of farmland. That's an interesting concept. And for those of you who haven't heard and aren't aware, don't read and don't look at videos other than entertainment purposes, which I don't have a problem with. But now, People are trying to convince us that we should eat bugs. So I'll do another video on that. Ain't got nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with what direction are we going in and what are the expectations for the future? It's a little scary, it's very crazy, but it is reality. And some of us don't wanna deal with it. I understand why. You just wanna go about your daily life Wait for Sunday football, Monday night football, Thursday night football, NBA preseason. I understand. You got the uh, uh, Major League Baseball playoffs. I understand. And you do need some form of entertainment, some form of positive energy, some form of happiness in your life. Because just dealing with this type of information day in and day out, it can take its toll on you. Believe me, I know. But the reality is, is it's getting scary. Let me revert back to the movie, the real Anthony Fauci movie. And I think if you use that title.com, the real Anthony Fauci movie.com, because that's being censored. If you do a search, you're probably not gonna find the link for it. You use that URL, you still have time to see part one free. But we're finding out that there is what appears to be an agenda. And if you don't know this person that I'm about to name, you might wanna look him up because he will summarize what some of these manipulators, these powerful people, what they intend to do and what they think of you. This gentleman's name, I shouldn't even call him a gentleman, Yuval Noah Harari. Yuval Noah Harari. This gentleman states openly that human beings are now hackable, just like a computer, and human beings have no value. If you have somebody like that, that's in a position where he can disseminate this information openly with the support of WEF, World Economic Forum, look them up, Klaus Schwab, 
Whoa, this guy. Oh my God. You want to talk about a manipulator. And these people are thinking like that. And the Boston University gain of function, gain of function, was able to take this virus, the original virus that created the pandemic. This university has now manipulated these genes. So if you catch this variant, it's an 80% kill rate. Eight out of 10 people will die. It fits right in with Yuval Noe Noah Harari and what he's saying about human beings and our existence in the future. He says there's no need for human beings. And I guess the manipulators are saying well, the only human beings that need to exist is us. I'm saying people, please, please stay up on this. Because if we don't collectively, as the masses, I talk about it over and over again, if we don't come together with the numbers that we have, these people are going to annihilate most of the human race. And it's already been a theory for decades that this planet is becoming overpopulated and cannot sustain this life form. I'm not making it up. I want everybody to get along. I want everybody to have a meal. Uh, three meals a day to eat, everybody to have he uh, free health care, everybody to have quality uh, ex uh, homes and quality education. I'm just trying to make sure everybody gets along and there's peace on the planet. There's a lot of people, the manipulators that are in power, that aren't with that program. And this thing is much deeper than me. But if we don't come together collectively, they got us. All right? You know what's strange is? I actually text, I think, four or five people the link to the movie, the real Anthony Fauci. One of them took the medicine, said that they would take as many boosters of this medicine the government asked them to or mandated them to. And if you needed your job and you had bills to pay, you might make that choice to take the medicine, I understand that. That's real. You know, you're looking at that mortgage note come in, you're looking at your kids hungry, and you're about to lose your job if you don't take the medicine. I understand. Some people, they took the medicine. I understand. I'm not a crazy man. But some of them are now paying the price for that with the adverse reactions. Look up the VAERS report, V-A-E-R. Okay, I don't even want to say the, what the V stands for. You should know that. And so you will get a sense of what are the actual repercussions of taking the medicine. What can happen to you? What has happened to thousands, tens of thousands, maybe even millions? Who knows? Because the VAERS report is voluntary. So we're not getting all the information. But the reality is, is we've got to stay on top of this because this stuff can come back to hurt you like it's hurt many people already. So I sent this text out. Somebody very close to me watched it within 24 hours, text me back, said how they were shocked at what they had seen. But now they're educated. Now they have the power. Knowledge is power. And so they never took the medicine, thank goodness. They know now that everything that the government, the pharmaceutical company stands for, and that's profit, capitalism gone amok, should be challenged, should be researched before you follow any of their mandates or their recommendations. I sent it to someone close to me in this family who is a doctor. They text me back and they said they check it out. I haven't heard from them since. This is somebody that has tremendous influence on people, patients that come to them for advice, for recommendations, for ways to address health concerns. This person should have watched it immediately. I haven't heard from them since. I sent it to another person who I love dearly, who took the medicine, who 
wholeheartedly supports whatever the government says. Now this person is very comfortable and life has been very good to them. So I understand that they're like, wow, everything that I'm doing right now is working for me and my family. I, I'm gonna go with what the government says. So this person took the medicine, believing that they could never catch COVID. What happened? They caught COVID and they spread it throughout the family. It is what it is. So I sent them a link to the movie. Haven't heard from them since. See, sometimes people, when they make decisions and they find out that they were hoodwinked, that they were tricked, that they went for the okie doke, they can't admit it inside and they can't acknowledge it to others. So they double down. Oh, yeah. And when that person caught COVID, I checked on them and asked how they're doing and everything. And they said they're doing fine, but they had to put kind of an addendum to the text. And I'm glad that everybody's taking the vaccine worldwide. This is a person that was told, because they took it quick, and I said the word and I didn't want to. The medicine, when it first came out, and when it first came out, they were saying that you can't catch COVID. And... Lo and behold, they caught COVID. Now, they caught it like a year later, but they still caught it, and they won't reconcile the fact that they were told something that was untrue. I'm not trying to be mean and say it was a bold-faced lie and it was all done on purpose. Some people say that's the case. You decide. And so that person, rather than say, oh my God, I'm not gonna take any more of this medicine, and when they come out with a new so-called variant that needs a new medicine, I'm probably not gonna go that route. I'm gonna focus more on my own health and improving and strengthening my immune system based on research that I'm doing. Sometimes you can take a horse to water, but you can't force the horse to drink. Sometimes you can give people all this information and they won't do anything with it because, wow, they might have to actually watch their diet. They might have to actually watch what they eat. They might have to actually consider exercising. They might have to actually try other things like supplements. And that's just too involved. That takes too much energy. So let me just go down here and let them give me this medicine. Oh, and you got some more medicine? Oh, let me take that. And so when I talked to that person, I said, how often are you willing to take this medicine? I said, are you gonna take it every year? Are you gonna take it every six months? Are you gonna take it every three months? Are you gonna take it every week? And every time I drop the time span in which you get that medicine to improve upon the previous medicine, they would pause before they made their decision because they knew that it's getting crazy if I had to take this every month. Well, what's going on? You just can't make it up. The CDC has now added to the recommended vaccines that our children should take six months and above. And they added this medicine for the pandemic to that list of medicines that should be inoculated into our children. Unbelievable and it gets crazier than that. And so after the CDC, Center for Disease Control, which is probably controlled by the people that fund them, you can look it up, where is their funding coming from? And if they don't wanna cut off that stream of funding, they're gonna do what they're told. And so these people now have watched the pharmaceutical company after getting that CDC recommendation, which is turning into a mandate because your children won't be able to go to school unless they take this medicine and a list of others, then the price went up. See, the pharmaceuticals are like crack addicts. They're hooked on this cash flow. They ain't giving up this cash cow. And so now they have a new medicine that covers all previous variants, if you believe that. And now they have the possibility of the Boston University by mistake releasing a gain of function virus from the original pandemic that has a kill rate 
of 80 percent eight out of ten people will die you can't make it up guys and i know this is not like one of those fun and upbeat positive videos no sometimes life can be quite challenging and crazy trying to be nice and diplomatic and not use profanity but we're at the point now with all that's going on and if you haven't heard i was going to say this in the front but i remembered it right now they're now trying to pass a bill for another 50 billion with a b dollars to go to ukraine <laughs> come on american people stop this madness don't put up for this crap anymore we've got to start protesting we got to start getting people out of office and you know i'm not down with the two-party system but we've got to try some new approaches to these people spending money like it is falling out of the sky we are the last resort people the masses must speak up and i think with the winter coming especially in europe there's going to be more and more protests and people are finally going to pull a sri lanka if you don't know what i'm talking about look that up all right because that population had it up to here with the people that were in position of authority, the politicians, and the manipulators. It's a very challenging time here on the planet Earth. I don't know what's gonna happen next. I don't know how far they're willing to go in Ukraine and how close to nuclear annihilation we are. And I know this is not the type of video that I'd like to engage in. It's nothing fun about this video, but it is what it is. But if you don't know, now you know. And I do have videos, over 800 of those videos are on my YouTube channel, some of which are very inspirational. Some of them are very entertaining. Some of them are politically based. Some of them talk about the economics and the challenges that we face. More and more country, uh, excuse me, more and more companies are laying off people, so that's an issue that's coming. More and more people are being evicted from their homes. That's an issue that is coming. Uh, housing industry has been decimated. The price of houses are dropping all over the nation, depending on where you live. We got a lot of issues here in this country, but we can still turn it around before there's no chance to stop the madness. I want to thank you guys for checking in. Please share these videos. Please go watch the movie, the real Anthony Fauci movie.com. Free for another three or four days, I don't remember. And that's part one. You have to pay for part two, which I intend to watch this weekend. But it's up to us to change the direction, to put an end to the madness, to focus in on what we have in common. I don't think there's a person in this country that doesn't believe that you should have health care no matter what economic status you're in. I don't think there's a person in America that doesn't believe everybody should have a home where they should be safe and sound. I just don't believe it. I don't believe that there's a person in America that doesn't believe that everybody should have quality food and should not be food insecure. I don't believe there's a person in America that doesn't believe everybody should have quality education. And even though you want to start going down the road of CRT and all of these different things, the 1619 Project, sometimes we can just stay away from that and just teach uh, the next generation how to read, write, and arithmetic. We are at a, a point where I am very concerned. And I'm very comfortable right now. And so none of this is really affecting me because I have the opportunity and I make the time to do the research so I can make sure that the people I care about, including myself, are knowledgeable enough to make decisions that will benefit them in more ways than they'll ever imagine. So as I wrap this up, please subscribe, please like, Please share, please follow me, 
throughout social media and help me reach more and more people because you know how we do. Talk to you soon.